Hey friends, Rob here doing a response and a review. Jason Collins, center in the NBA, comes out, admits he's black, he's gay. Obviously we knew he was black, we didn't know he was gay, comes out of the closet. And, you know, what's your response? What do you think of this? My response, simply as a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, is very simple, friends. God loves sinners, which is me, which is you, because the Bible's very clear. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. You want an interpretation of all? Everybody, period, under the sound of my voice. God loves sinners, but he hates and despises sin because it separates us from God. And really, what's sin? Anything that separates you from God, even trusting in your own works for your own salvation because salvation's a free gift. And, you know, is homosexuality a sin, you may ask? Well, I'm quoting the Bible very clearly, the Bible does say and indicate that anyone that practices that lifestyle will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So if you got a gripe with the Bible, no problem. You take it up with the author, by the way. His name is God or Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, etc. I'm just the mailman. I'm just here to deliver the mail. I didn't make up the mail. I didn't wrote the Bible. I quote the Bible. I know that rhymes and it's not correct grammar, but the reality is... God despises sin, and again, that you know, no one generally goes to hell because of their sin. They go because of their sin nature. We're all born separated from God due to original sin. Christ is the way back to the Father. The Bible is very clear where it says, Jesus said, I am the mediator between God and man. In other words, if you want to get to God, you got to go through His Son. Christ is a bridge, and the gospel of Jesus Christ is motivated by love and never fear. The Bible is very clear in the book of John, third chapter, 16 verse, for God so loved the world that he gave as a gift his only son, that if you would believe in Jesus, you would not perish, you'd have everlasting and eternal life. And, you know, God desires no one to perish under the sound of my voice. He wants us all to have the insurance that when we all take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven a home. And, you know, the only way we can have that is by having our lives surrendered and submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And if you've never accepted Christ into your heart, you want to recite a simple prayer. Remember, we all control the doorknob to our heart. God didn't create robots. God gave us a free will, and he has to respect our free will. So you want to recite a simple prayer. It's not necessarily reciting the prayer. It's the faith behind it. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Praying for Jason Collins. Praying for anybody that doesn't really is, is in a state of confusion. Not necessarily people that have alternative lifestyles. You know, the church likes to pick on that one situation more than any. And there's many, many different ways uh, that people are practicing that. You know, they won't make heaven their home. But you invite Christ in your heart. He's the only way, friends. God bless you. Jesus is the only way, friends. Be blessed.